What's good, my melanin queens? I am here. I am Ali Chanel or Chanel, and I am here with another new video for this week. And yes, so what I did was to create a look fitting for the Christmas holiday. And yes, if you're a beginner, you're not used to eyeshadows and you you don't know what to do. Yes, I hope this video helps you along that journey and this is a very simple look on the eyes and I hope you guys enjoy it. If you have questions, leave them in the comments. Definitely like, share and subscribe. Share it to a friend guys and remember to subscribe. So you will see this entire look in like a few seconds. Just wait for it. today with a look yes for every queen you're just starting out with makeup and you're scared to do eyeshadow or do it on your own I always recommend getting a neutral palette or a palette that have tones that match your skin very well so for me I know that like the earthy tones like burnt oranges some yellow some shades of red they match my skin very well so for today's look I will be using the MAC Art, Liber Lib Art Library flamboyant palette and this has 12 shades right that's the shades it comes with a silver very thick silver with all the names of the shadows on it and yeah this is how it's looking I had this at additional artistry but I am currently out of it so it's very good for a queen that you're starting out with color and you don't want to go into the bright colors but then you, can, you want to create nice looks either for work or evening time or whatever so today I'm using the P. Louise based in number two room two and I'm applying this to the lids I'm taking my time to blend this in I'll also encourage any newbie to make up just to do your foundation first. No, do your eyeshadow first and then go in with your foundation and all of that good stuff afterwards, right? So that if you get any fallouts or anything like that, you know, you can easily clean it up with your um, brush or concealer or such the like. I'm trying to maintain the base on my lids for a simple factor you're starting out with makeup and you're using a lighter base and you may not want to go all the way up to your brows with color because you might be scared of that look and it is okay I personally don't love to put a lot of color all the way up in my brows too so I do understand that and if you realize mine is not neatly done it's okay it's going to be cleaned up after a while so yeah After doing this, you can go in with your beauty blender or anything of this, your choice just to further push it in, blend it in so it look natural. If you're working with matte shades, I would recommend that you also prime your lids. So for today, I'll be using a mixture of my Sasha Buttercup and Fenty Setting Powder in Honey on my lids. right it looks scary huh in a few minutes it won't look like this i do apologize for it looking like this at this very moment so and for some persons they might go in with more base than i did but it doesn't change the outcome so much so everybody have their own preference Ooh. 
so for a newbie i'll always have a blended look um you don't have to go in with a whole heap of technical makeup looks just do something simple you understand do something simple and yet fun and for today that's what i'm trying to do so you guys you know don't feel too overwhelmed i'm taking the shade and i'm blending it on my edges of my eye and into the crease as well and i'm working from the ends to the middle right not so much in the inner part i will eventually get there but for now that's what i'm doing So I have a flush of color, not too much, not looking too weird, right? Can also drag it up. Pretty, huh? So continuing with color, I'm now going to use a smaller blending brush from Real Techniques. It's called a base eyeshadow brush, but I, because of how fluffy it is on the tips, I use it to blend shadows together so i'm now going into a darker shade on in the palette and i'm taking it on the edges just the same blending it into the crease just to deepen up that area just to have more pigment on the eyes right So you can see that there is color but it's not too much and it, it won't do too much for, on your um actual look you understand it won't be too much on your actual look and i'm taking a clean brush just to blend out my edges carrying it a little on my lids and i'm just patting it on Looking a little bit festive already. All of these blended looks kind of give you like a sort of blown out look and it, look, it looks like you spent hours to do your look but really and truly it was just a few minutes. Now to make it look a little bit complete already, even though it's not completed. I'm going to now go in with um, an actual shimmer shade. And I'm using the very... So the first shade I used was this one, the second shade I used was this one, and now I'm going to use this shade. And I'm packing it on the lids, right? For some persons, they would go ahead and wet the, wet the actual brush just to pick up the shimmer shade some more and apply it. And I just did that. I'm actually doing it a little bit different than I would normally do because I just want you guys to understand that you have to gauge what you're doing especially when you're just working with color and you gauge it like okay all right so I put this on now and it looks it looks a little bit complete all right but I might not have depth on my actual lids so I probably need to go in and put in that so no it's like a little trial and error but you're gauging how you actually put shadow down right I, because I know my eye shape, I'm just going a little bit above my crease area with the shadow. So if you notice, you can still see a little, the sh little of the shimmery shade above my crease. Now 
so now that i've done that i'm now thinking that my brows no my lids are looking a little bit flat so i need to put depth in it and with doing that i'm going to take a deeper shade from the palette i am thinking of this one to put in my the edge of my brows no not the edge of my brows but the edge of my eyelid and just blend it on right so I'm making like a C shape with it we gonna play it safe you understand and to go in and do too much and be like oh no I messed my eyeshadow up we gonna play it safe and go right through with the look right at this point i'm going to now think to myself all right mm, it's looking good but i would like more color in the brow bone area that part here that i'm pointing out so because i know that i want more color in there i'm going to go back in to one of the shadows that i've previously used and i'm going to go in with the first shade that i use which have like a, it's a burnt orange color and just buff that into the brow area right i don't take it all the way up i just leave it right there one thing with doing your eyeshadow look and you're working with mattes you have to ensure that your shadows are properly blended right i usually like to carry it down the bottom just to round up my eyes and usually i eventually clean this up with concealer so i will eventually clean up some of this and eventually put back some more that type of thing so this is how the eyes are looking at the moment um if you're starting with makeup you might say all right this is okay you might want to spruce it up some more make it way more dramatic than this you can do so but currently i am using one palette and I just want to show you guys how this look actually looks. Doing a slight cut crease. This is how I fake my cut crease, guys. If you saw what I just did, yeah, that's how I fake my cut crease. Now, what I'm going to do is now take a lighter shade. Probably, I use. I'm gonna use this one first to see how it looks and if not I'm going to use this very very light shimmer shade or better yet I'm going to use a very very light one first and see yeah that's what I'm going to do So I fake a cut crease and that's how it's looking at the present moment. I did actually take the other shimmery shade just to blend between those two shades so it looked like it gradually blends into each other right plus it gives me a little bit of a highlight as well on the lid
and this is all the eyes are looking nice right and if you're a girl who likes liner like gel liner um liquid liners just to sharpen the edge of this look i'm gonna use my wet and wild mega liner guys i love 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 this liner the blackest liner i have and it's from the drugstore and it works perfect for this look For this look, I don't necessarily want to go in with a wing liner. I just want to neaten it up. So that's what I did. And I just carved out my eyes. Hopefully you can see it on this side better. So that's my lids tight night. I'm going to now put on some mascara and after I do my mascara, I'm going to do my finish the rest of my face and come right back. So queens, um this is my face almost completed and uh, I'm going to finish up the eyes now. So I'm going to zoom back in. Alright, so now I'm back closer to the eyes. I'm going to do my final touches, which are which are like cleaning up my brows. Um, touching up so now I'm going to blend out underneath my eyes I'm not going to put any liner in my waterline just because I don't necessarily need it so all I'm going to do is to just blend out below right I'm not pulling it all the way in I'm just putting it on the outer part just to blend it in and round it up with my entire look I am liking how this is looking guys. I'm loving it. Um, so now I'm going to pop on some lashes and just see. I'm going to try this one. Yeah. I like how that one looks.
Ooh, this is stunning, guys. What are you thinking? What's your thoughts so far? Like, So guys, this is the eyes up close. Oh, let me set my brows. This is my eyes up close. So what I'm going to do is to just go ahead, put on, finish my lips, get myself together, and just come right back with the finished look. So queens, if you made it to the end, also I will be doing a giveaway. I will be doing two giveaways on my YouTube channel, and this is to all the que two queens who have stick right through my entire Christmas vlogmas, sharing it with friends, commenting, reposting, all of that good stuff that you will do to support me on my journey. I am just going to. It will last 25 days, and I will choose two queens, the most helpful, supportive subscribers that I have that are living in Jamaica. I will ensure that you guys get yourself some goodies, some makeup goodies. Like, you don't want to miss this. I am telling you, my giveaways are epic. Like, and every year it only gets better and better. So, if you want to win, definitely read the information in the description just to get it. Alright? Queens, and I am at the end of this video using all the products that i did i will definitely link them in the description box below and yeah if, if you have some comments if you have some thoughts some questions definitely leave them down in the comments and get in the conversation with me and oh on the lips i have this mentored liquid lip gloss in saint nude and it looks like this and i put a little bit of my concealer today in the middle just to have it looking a little bit light so that's the end of this look guys thanks for watching and i'll see you in another video or i mean if you're spending some time with me why not click the link to the next video either side of this with yeah and show me some love like if you like what i'm doing if you like the process progress that i'm making definitely let me know in the comments like thank you guys bye